the vision and prophetic word I call the skills of balance over America and the church that I received from God the Father. I saw like a weight and balance scale. I saw Donald Trump on one side and the Democrat candidate on the other side. Then I heard the Lord say, your nation and people stand in the balance. It can go one way or the other. Tell the people and the church, this is critical and of high importance. And depending on your response and actions to these warnings is how it will turn out. If you take it casual and think it's no big deal, this will not be good and be of great detriment for the people and nation of America. But if instead you take it serious and turn to me with fervent prayer and repentance and act in who you choose as president, I will hear and answer. And you, America, will enter into a great time of peace and prosperity that will affect all people, not just here in the USA, but also the nations of the world. The Lord showed me and said that it is his will and desire for us, America, to have a patriotic revival right alongside the Great Awakening which is to take place with Trump in office as our president, which will result in a mighty harvest of souls for Jesus. But that it is not automatic. It depends on our response, taking it serious, both in repentance, fervent prayers, and our actions of voting. He said, as a result, we will enter into the best of times or the worst of times. Let me say that again. He said, as a result, we will enter into the best of times or the worst of times for our nation, America. Then he said, but either way, I will receive my harvest. I saw and heard as the Lord showed me, if we choose Trump, we will enter into what God called a patriotic revival for America and that also the Great Awakening would fully break out right alongside of it for a mighty harvest of souls for Jesus while Trump is in office as president. And we will enter into times of peace, safety, and great prosperity that will be a blessing to all. Then he showed me and said, if we choose the Democrat candidate, that we will enter into the worst of times for our nation. And things will get way worse than they are now in our government and in the streets of America. He said, the America we know will be no more. Again, he said, the America we know will be no more. I saw persecution of Christians and others at levels we have never seen here on our soil before. The economy collapsing. And those that don't conform to the government like that of a third world country, that people were having to hide and run for their lives and more and more death from the enemies of America, like ISIS, Hamas, Iran, and many others. I saw other nations literally invading and upon our soil. I saw people being taken from their homes, like during the time of the Nazis Hitler regime, and being thrown into prison, others into concentration camps, and many others killed right here on our soil in the streets of America. Please share these warnings. This needs to go viral. And please join in and do it quickly if it is in your power 
and that you are legal to vote for this is upon us right now. Please take it serious and let's vote together as one nation under God and pray with desperate, fervent prayers like the prophet Elisha did mentioned in James chapter 5 verses 17 through 18. And that as it is written in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verses 14 through 15. Love and blessings to all. And may God have mercy on us one more time. And bless us to be a blessing to all people. For blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. God bless America.